So you've decided that you're going to start composting in your backyard, but you're a little unsure how you're going to take your food waste that you generate at your counter and take that to your backyard bin. Hi, my name is Rick Carr. I'm the farm director at Rodale Institute. And in this video, I'm going to be discussing how we manage our compostables at the counter. So I'm at my counter and I'm doing my food prep and right now I'm just making a, a salad and I have my celery, kale and Swiss chard and obviously I'm not going to be eating all of this food. Uh, some of the celery tops and bottoms and some of the stems that I'm going to be discarding. And so I have my uh, collection bucket right at my counter, easy access and as I'm doing my prep I'm throwing it into the bucket. So as your collection bucket starts getting full at the counter, you have one of two choices. You can take that bucket and go out to your backyard bin and empty it. Or to minimize how many trips you are making to your bin, you can have a five gallon bucket placed right outside your back door or wherever's most convenient. And you could take the contents of your collection bin and add it to the five gallon bucket. When the five gallon bucket gets full, now is the time to go to your backyard bin and empty the contents into there and begin your lasagna layering. And check out one of our other videos on lasagna layering for more details. So as you're managing compostables at the counter, there's two issues that can arise. It's either going to be foul odors, in which case you just empty the bucket more often. And the other one is fruit flies, which can happen usually in the summertime. So this is how we make a fruit fly trap. It's a very effective homemade way of controlling fruit fly outbreaks uh, in your kitchen. So we have scissors, a plastic bag, glass jar. I like to use glass instead of uh, plastic so I could see all the carnage in there. Rubber band and apple cider vinegar. So the first step, we're gonna cut the corner off the plastic bag like so. And then cut the tip of the corner off. We're gonna add our apple cider vinegar, just a little bit, doesn't take much. And I could smell it right, right away. But once you put this bag over top like so, you really can't smell it anymore, but the flies can. Take a rubber band, attach the bag so that nothing can escape. And what's gonna happen is the fruit flies can smell that vinegar and they'll fly into the hole get down there and eventually drowned in there. They won't be able to get back out. Thank you for watching this video on how to manage compostables from the kitchen counter to the compost bin. Please check out Rodale Institute's other videos in this series on backyard composting.